We turn now to our occasional weekend series about wildlife rehabilitators around the state. Today, a rare close up with a pair of baby owls that are convalescing at On the Wing in Epping, along with guidance on the first thing you should do if you happen upon a baby raptor injured or out of the nest. It is like the Muppet Show. We sit and laugh a lot. Jane Kelly is the founder of On the Wing in Epping. Her apprentice, Chloe Yurgau, is a high school student who credits overcoming a debilitating fear of public speaking to working with these birds. He had a broken leg and had surgery at Vash in Brentwood, um, and they set his leg and he has pins on the side of his uh, right leg here. He's a great horned owl sitting alongside a baby barred owl. A scene that Jane Kelly says would never happen in the wild. The pair will be in rehab until the fall. But Kelly guards against too much human contact. She uses an iPhone to help train them to hunt. So there's a high frequency pit of the mice. And that's what they're listening to. So what's fascinating with owls is they can hear the heartbeat of a mammal three feet under cover. And so they have foot ear coordination. So what should you do if you find a hurt owl or a baby on the ground? Kelly says resist the urge to touch it or pick it up right away. Typically, we would recommend that send us a picture, text us a picture, call animal control, call New Hampshire Fish and Game. Um, and, you know, let's make a team effort decision on it. And Kelly says most owl injuries are from car strikes or secondary rodenticide, where an owl eats a rodent that has already ingested rat poison.